So for instance, our slab manager implements I has control and when reset controls is called and it it does some decent stuff and stop and start so we really don't need stop and start so I'd hate to have to use them but if we implement I has control we're gonna have to so maybe we'll split up the interface and that might be a better option so the player behavior also uh, who also has a I has control is it the pickup manager yeah I'm gonna click through everything and there's a much easier way we can go to our interface and see who implements our interface so the player controller how did I end up in the player oh I clicked on the piece behavior so yes here we are implement I has control which stops controls and calls reset we don't need to stop the spawning controls we just need a reset so let's get to that interface so we can split this interface up and the ending part of of it will be has controls and has controls would implement the stop and uh, start and how about I reset control or oh, I has reset hmm. so we need names that, that's naming is always a problem for me getting it right is makes sense because then you don't get lost in, in what you're reading. As soon as you read it, you know exactly what's going on. So, yep, I reset controls. And it just has reset as it's only... Now, you know, this would cause a ruckus everywhere. I has controls it won't implement so if we go to the game controller that's where we can actually see what's happening so we have has controls and has controls does not have this method so uh, interfaces can also inherit from a base interface and now we have a reset control also attached Okay, so we we want reset controls as our base interface. Okay, so we'll do that. It has to be um, of a reset controls, and where we create them. I has controls is a new reset control and both of these are reset controllers because they implement I has control so we're getting there so we go into I has control we can cast here how, how are we going to do this so let's do a cast here. So if um, actually I has controls, and we cast it with the as keyword and 
what this does is it will return null if we can cast it if it, I mean if it if it, it can cast it it will return a value if it can't cast it it will return null okay I got that thought out All right, so if we don't have a null value, we use the I has controls and we stop it and we start it. Okay? And the same goes for this method. All right? We know we always have a reset controller. We try and convert to I has control and if we do have an I has control, we stop it. So now that we're using reset controls, it might be good idea to do that. So we always have reset controls and it can be they can be casted into an IHAS control. Cast it up. If it's successful, we can do those behaviors. So here's our reset control. It's our has control. Now we can go to our bonus manager and we just implement the behavior that we do need I want to be able to reset the controls okay is there anywhere in here that we reset the controls originally so we set our parent here we can use this uh, method So when resetting our controls, we go through everything in the pool. They already know who their parent is. So we can uh let's get their transform. and reset their transform to zero <laughs> you wish huh that local position well let me do position so I think that should put them back where their parent is no we need local position to do that The rotation is fine. We don't need to rotate it. We need the game object. Nah, don't make the same uh, mistake as last night. Let's do that. Make sure we do that. and we want to deactivate the objects alright so now we need to add the bonus manager to our game controller <coughs> 